Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and it is finally time for another month in favorites. These are some of my favorite, favorite videos to film because quite frankly, we get to go back through the month, we get to see what was going on, what was popping, and what was not so popping, and we leave that in the dust. And it's just the best feeling in the world to be like, I loved you, I don't love you, I loved you, you suck, and just like really divide my life up and make it look so pretty, like I love it. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Now I will tell you, first of all, if you're looking for this look, you wanna know what's going on, what's happening, why my face looks so gorgeous and glowy, I will go ahead and link right up here my new review of the ColourPop sticks, their blushes and their highlights. I grabbed eight different shades, two kits, two singles. I go into it, I talk about how they look on video, on camera, natural light, still photos, how they apply under and over powder, all the tea is in that video. So definitely go ahead, check that out if you are curious um, about that or anything else that's going on on my face right now. And that will bring me though to my first item on today's list, which is my lips. Do you see that beautiful red color? That is this ColourPop lip pencil. Now, this is in the shade Overtime. This color is so, so beautiful. It's like a bright cherry type red. It's not too blue undertone. It almost has more of like an orange undertone, I would say. It's just so gorgeous the way it sits on the lips. I've worn this one quite a few times, actually. And you might be asking yourself, Paige, is this your first favorite? No, they're all my first favorite. Guys, I am diehard obsessed with the ColourPop lip liners. I actually purchased the entire collection when they launched them, God, what was that, like three or four months ago now? And I've been going through using and testing these religiously. Like every single time you've seen a lip liner, it has more than likely been a ColourPop lip liner. And these things are so, so good. The creaminess, like the way they apply to the lips is insane. They last so well. They don't get weird or gummy or like balled up on the lips. You can put glosses over them, lipsticks over them, liquid lipsticks over them. It doesn't matter how you use these. The formula is so, so good. So if you are someone that is looking for a lip liner, I don't care what color you need, because honey, they literally have them all. Like, hello. There's a blue in here. Like, I think you'll find what you're looking for. They do have something for everyone. I personally love, love their nude pinks, their nude, like, actual skin tone nudes. I think those are really nice. Their pops of color are amazing. Um, one of my other favorites that I don't have in here, there's, like, BFF1, BFF2. Those are more on, like, the nude side of things. And then this is another favorite. This is the shade Little One. It's almost like a, like a skin tone nude, but with a mauve undertone to it. It's just so beautiful. And again, like, look at that. Did you see? Like, the pigmentation on these is so great. These are a sharpenable pencil, too, so if you're worried about the um, the balliness of it, the retractable breaking, or the um, the contamination that can happen with those type of products, you don't have to worry about that with these because you're just going to go ahead and sharpen it. I've tested them with several different varieties and types of lip products and lipsticks. Even my, uh, my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, you guys know I love that for, like, a gloss. I will even put down a one of these lip liners and then the Lip Sleeping Mask on top, and it still looks beautiful, and it wears amazing. Like, there's just... I personally... Personally, there's no negative to this for me. These are so good. Everything about them is amazing. I highly recommend these. Like on the next level, I recommend them. Also, if you were wondering, by the way, I have a little bit of the Jeffree Star Gloss on top of that in the shade um, I'm the Boss, I believe. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. But if you were wondering, that's what I'm wearing. All right, so next up, we're going to move on to another lip product. And how many times have we heard Paige talk about this? 17. Guys, this is the ABH in Grape Jelly. I love this lip color so much. It's one of their glosses. It is so, so good. Now, I did just talk about this. Or actually, no, I first used this in a full phrase of makeup I had never tested, which I will link up there. And then I also just used it in an underrated makeup video, which I will talk about up there as well. Um, but guys, this gloss is freaking magical. I did go ahead and swatch it right here. And I don't know what it is about this gloss that is just so beautiful. It's That's one swipe, by the way. It's super rich in opacity. The color is vibrant. It is so glossy and I think what makes this so special is that the color is beautiful and it's vibrant and it's poppy and it looks so over the top but because it has like this beautiful like pink to hot pink undertone to it it's so much more wearable than you would think if you're like me and you're really intimidated by this color I'm telling you it is not as bad as it looks and this is coming from the girl that actually when you if you go back and you watch the first video I just linked of me trying this for the first time I swatched it and I was like <laughs> 
absolutely not. Like, what am I gonna do with this color? Why would I even buy this color? You guys, ever since me wearing it in that video, I just can't stop. It's so good. Again, everything about it, the opacity, the smoothness, ABH glosses in general, like I said, I already talked about in the video that I linked, but this color specifically, I wanted to put it on here one more time. If you are looking for a bold color that you can wear that's doesn't that doesn't show up like a bright blue or a green or a black on your lips, like something that's a little bit different, it's a little bit more bold, but it's not so bold that it looks out of place. This is the perfect option for that. In my opinion, this is a great summer look. It's just, I will be wearing this a ton. Moral of the story, get used to it, get loving it, because girl, but, 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 I'm loving it. Did I just go there? Did I just say that out loud? Wow. So now we're on to a not random product that I love for a very random reason. I have the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer in the shade Fair 10. I did do a full video and review of this as well as the powder, which I will link up here. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this concealer for a second, because y'all, I love this for the weirdest reasons. First of all, I've been using this so, so much when it comes to day-to-day -day makeup where I don't look like this. Days where I don't want to put on much of anything, I maybe want to like spot conceal a tiny bit and be on my way. Days where I just want to look little bit of coverage under the eye days where I just want to like live my life and not care this is so so good now here is a swatch of this concealer again this is in the shade fair 10 and that shade right there is way too dark for my under eye it just goes on when I'm wearing a full beat foundation and it blends in with the rest of my face which typically is what you'd ask for but you guys know me I like to have it brighter under my eyes I really like to be able to awaken or illuminate that part of my face so for me this color I realized pretty quickly wasn't going to work under the eyes However, on a day where I am wearing no makeup, I want to just go in, I want to maybe spot conceal, do some hyperpigmentation, I don't have any other foundation on, I love to take this and just very gently kind of tap it up in this region under my eyes or tap it onto my hyperpigmentation. And what I love about this is that it's such a nice level of emolliency that it just blends into my skin and it looks more like a second skin. It has a very natural finish. It doesn't get all weird and like uh, gunky or like chalky on my skin and the way that it just blends in I really like now to its contrast the only thing I don't love is that after a few hours it does kind of start to slip around and I don't like to set it because then it really stands out on my face but as far as a product that I like using on the daily just as a spot concealer I have really been enjoying this and I've also been using it as a spot concealer under foundation just to see you know how it looks how it wears and overall it's a really really great type of product it presses into the skin nicely I don't say like that it's full full coverage. I do think it's a beautiful, nice, creamy, medium coverage that you can build up to a nicer full coverage, um, but just nothing that goes on and it's like a one swipe full coverage. I do like it. I love the way it blends in and I actually think for the way that I use it and the way I use it on like a no makeup makeup day, it's nice to have a little bit of the redness like peek through the concealer because then it gives the illusion that it really is just my skin, which is really nice. So overall, I do really enjoy this. I like getting to play around with it and use it in a different way and it has been a fun way for me to kind of cheat the system and use less makeup or go in with no makeup on days where I still want to feel good about myself and I still want to feel put together but I just don't want to do a full beat and I'd also like to say that as a cream concealer this is the first one I've ever tried that's like in a cream stick form that goes on normal and like presses in and has a beautiful like depth and emolliency to it that it doesn't get all like crumbly on my skin and it doesn't start to get patchy it doesn't ball up it doesn't pull at my hyperpigmentation to make it worse this is the first cream concealer I've ever used that I've had this kind of luck with so another reason I had to throw it out there give her a special nod because girl it's a rare day okay so next up I'm not gonna spend a ton of time here because I feel like this is a favorite that comes and goes pretty regularly ABH Amrezy highlight, you guys. It wouldn't be a video if I didn't put this in here. I have been wearing this so much the last month. I just can't even... I, I can't even see straight. This is such a beautiful highlight. Works so good on multiple skin tones. If you haven't tried it, you definitely should. Now, I don't want to spend a ton of time on this one, but I do want to throw out there, if you are on the lighter side like me, and this does pull a little bit too gold or a little too warm for you, you can go ahead and mix this with another highlight, whatever that is. For me, it's usually Ofra Glaze Donut with Nikki Tutorials, the collab they did, because that one mixed with this one is just perfect on my skin tone. But if you need to mix it, no shame in that game, honey. It mixes beautifully with lit 
literally every highlight. I've mixed it with that, the Fenty, how many carrots, everything from like a glitter to a shimmer. It doesn't matter. This is just so beautiful and it has the perfect depth to it. It has the perfect undertone. It has the, the it's, it's just the perfect everything. I don't think, there are very few times in my life that I'm like, wow, a product is perfect. And this like takes the cake for me. Every time I put it away, it only takes me about two months before I end up with it somehow back in my possession. It is a little pricier for a highlight, but if you're looking for one that is so good quality, it will last you forever because that glow goes a long way. This is definitely worth the time and money you are going to spend into it. I'm telling you, it's going to last forever. It's so good. Like every couple of months, just expect to see it because it's great. And you know what this means. Now that I put it in this video, I'm going to have to put it away. Hello darkness, my old friend. Okay, so now we're going to talk about my favorite bronzer of the month, y'all. If you don't expect this and see it coming, I don't know who you are. Fenty Into Sun. I have been wearing this bronzer. I'm wearing it today even. I wear this every single day. It doesn't matter if I go in with a cream product. It doesn't matter what I do in my life. This has been my bronzer. The color, the undertone, it is so smooth. I love, I love everything about this. The way it applies, the color, just everything. And I love it because it's such a light toned bronzer. But then when you go in and you build it up, it actually builds in depth. So if you want a more intense look, if you want to go in, and I'm really building it up. But if you want to go in and make it more intense, you want it to be really dramatic or a nice deep bronze, you can really get there with this. And again, I am the fair side of the spectrum, so this is the shade that works for me, but I just love this so much. Now, I did do a little investigation into the amount of product you get in here, and for the price, you only get 0.22 ounces, which is not a lot. And what I could find on average, you were looking at like 0.32 to 0.35 for a bronzer and this only has 0.22 in it so I don't love the amount of product you get so much I do wish that the pan size was a little bit bigger however However, I love the way it applies. I love the tone for my skin tone. It is absolutely perfect. And you know what? If I have to sacrifice a little bit of that to get everything else be right on, that is what it is, and I'll take it every time because, girl, it is so good. And as a pasty queen, it can be so hard to find a bronzer that will work for you. So for all of those reasons, I will openly love this bronzer, but I will always wish there was more product. All right, so next up, we're going to talk about a blush, and I did not expect to love this nearly as much as I do. The LMR Cosmetics Blush Trio, y'all, this is so so good I have worn this more times than I think I've worn any other blush this month and that is quite the feat because y'all know I'm a little bit picky when it comes to blushes I really love to go in I like to mix blushes all across the world and I have just been dunking into this every single day I go in with just scorcher then I'll go in with passion I'll mix scorcher with what is this castaway right here those two together are beautiful and this palette for me has just been one of the most easy to use fun summer palettes that I have seen in quite some time and what I love about it is that in a way it almost forced me to go outside of like my normal traditional blush comfort zone where it's like oh I like pinks I like mauves I like a pinky coral and then this one came along and it's like how about you mix a little tangerine with that how about you really get in there and I just love this so so much the way the colors sit on my skin and they give you like this beautiful like glow to the skin but it's more of like a glow from within it's not like a glittery glow it doesn't look like there's shimmer in it I don't really have much more to say about this. I just really love it. I had to put it in this video because again, I've worn these all so much and I really, really just appreciate the fact that Alomar Cosmetics was able to pull off this beautiful like glow situation. Like look at that tangerine shade. It glows, but it doesn't look over the top. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like I put highlight all over my face. And that's what I love about this. So thank you so much to BoxyCharm for sending this one on over, which I mean, I paid for it, but still it's really good. And I don't know if I would have picked it up otherwise. And I'm so glad I have it because it's, this to me is just like the perfect summertime blush palette. So good. Now next up I have something very, very random for you that I didn't, again, anticipate loving as much as I do. This is from Makeup Geek. It is their Peach Bellini palette. This little guy right here, it is eight pans of peach burgundy cuteness and y'all, I'm here for this. This is so, so good. Now, I did first use this, I think, in a full face. It was first impressions of new makeup. Now, I will, of course, go ahead and link this up there for you guys. If I don't have any links, it will be linked down below. But y'all, this palette for me, for some reason, it was like my day-to-day go-to palette for so long, like probably two weeks. I was just like, yep, grab it. Bellini in the crease. A little bit of peaches to blend it out, fine. All over the lid, Prosecco. Y'all, every single day, Prosecco was on my lids for like a solid two weeks. It was ridiculous. Now, these right here, 
here are four of my favorite shades. We have Juicy, then Bellini, this is Prosecco, and then this is Nectar, and they're just so good. The pigmentation is so even on these, and when I first went in and swatched them and like started feeling the formula, look at, how, look at those, oh my god, so good. Uh, but when I first went in and started playing with the mattes in here, I was like, ooh, because they feel a little bit harsh, they feel a little dry. I was like, man, because this was like in a less expensive kind of a set, I was like, man, I didn't think Makeup Geek would do me dirty like this. I didn't think they'd give me less quality. And I'm really happy to report that it only feels scratchy and dry in the pan because when you swatch it, gorgeous. When it goes onto the lid, gorgeous. I have no issues with this palette. I think what you ended up getting in this trio it was 25 bucks, and you got this, a lip product, and like an eye pencil or something like that. I think there were three items. And for the three items that were in there for the price, this is so, so good. And even for that shade Prosecco right there, Freaking just, I mean, like, look at it. It's so good, it's so reflective, and I love it too because you can pat it on nicely without a glitter glue, and it gives you like a really nice kind of shimmer. Or you can go in with the glitter glue and get like that really impactful kind of pop. And either way, it blends out and it looks perfect on the eyes. It's just so so good. Overall, I highly recommend this. It's so it's just so cute and easy to use and perfect for summer. Now, last up, I have a super random palette for you that I yet again never thought I would love: the Pro Fusion Metallics palette. Now, for those of you that missed my full face of Walmart makeup. I will link it probably down below at this point. This palette is so, so good. It's like $10 and I was blown away at how nice this was. My favorite shade in here is the shade Illusion. Look at that. Bam. This thing is so affordable and I'm telling you the pigmentation on these shimmers, it, it does not go away. Well, I guess technically they're metallics, but still so, so good. Like for the price, for the amount of product, for the color range even, like everything about this is so worth Worth it. Couple of my favorites. So this is Illusion. Then we have Destiny right there. Ooh, this is a good one too. That's Celebrate. It's like a peachy coral shimmer, which is great. And then guys, right there is the shade Geode. Look at that freaking color. It's like the most beautiful light teal baby blue kind of color. And these are not just the kind of shimmers that are like, oh, they're cheap. When you swatch them, they look one way. And then when you go in with a the lid, they're another. No, you get this beautiful, like sexy glow factor to them. They're shimmer. They don't disappoint. They work well with a glitter glue. Like everything about these for me is just so awesome. On point. I love the colors. I love everything about this palette. I've used it so, so much. And then fun fact, that shade Illusion, which is the lightest shade I just swatched for you, I use that as an inner eye, a brow bone, and an actual highlight for the longest time. And it looks beautiful on the skin as well. So overall, I feel like you can't go wrong with this. I have yet to run into a shade in here where I was like, mm, that one's not good. Like maybe a couple shades had a little bit of a crumble factor to them, but nothing that I would be upset about because I feel like depending on the shade and the pigmentation of that shade a lot of times metallics and shimmers both have kind of like a, a chunk to them so I'm not mad at that it's like a transient shimmer it, you literally you'll get lost in it like you're gonna get lost in the eyes of this beach right here oh girl so good and okay you guys that is it for today's video please let me know down below what your month and favorites are and if you're sitting there and you're about ready to write like hey girl what about this product I have been trying really, really hard to make sure that the only products I put in my month end favorites are ones that I have been using for three plus weeks. Now, a lot of times that does cut out other products I've been loving. Maybe I've only been loving them for two weeks. Doesn't mean I love them any less, but it does mean that I don't want to put them in this video just to make it fluffier, just to make it better, just to make it longer. I would rather always be 100% authentic with you guys and know that the products I put in these videos that I have been using them for long enough time that I have a good base for them that I like certain things about them. Maybe I dislike certain things about them. And so if you ever are thinking to yourself like, Paige, you're missing, you're missing this product. And I know that we're both, if you're an avid watcher, we're both thinking the same product right now. Um, I know that for those of you that are thinking that, don't think I forgot about them. They will probably be in next month's favorite as long as they are still a favorite. So just keep that in mind. I just wanted to kind of address it because even in last month's video, some of you were like, girl, what about this product? What about that product? And sometimes I do forget for sure, but there's other products that I, I just, I want to make sure that I really am committed to it that I really love it before I go telling you guys how much I love it. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like, oh, I've used it four times. It's great. No, I want to make sure that I really know everything that I can about it. So anyways, you guys, those are my thoughts, opinions. Those are my favorites. Don't forget, leave me yours down below. Also, while you're down there, don't forget, you can scuttle on up to that description box. Check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. And if you haven't done so yet, you can also subscribe and turn on your post notifications for this here YouTube channel because y'all, I upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They all go up bright and early between six and seven most of the time. This past week, we had a couple technical difficulties, but between six and seven a.m. my time here in Northern Michigan, it is a fun, fresh, early way we hang 
hang out, we get together, we drink our coffee, and we talk all things makeup, whether it's new, old, love it, hate it, doesn't matter. We hang out, and it is just so, so much fun. Uh, you guys watch me while I play with makeup and drink Diet Coke with light eyes. Like, what else is there in life? So, you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hello. Hello, everybody. It's basically the same. Got it. <clears throat> Had to loosen up. Had to loosen it up. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome. <coughs> there goes that. <laughs> and I know there's always like a huge conspiracy surrounding co color. Co 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 How is it possible when I have a hot flash and I need a fan the most? I can't find my fan. Neither of them. I have two. Can't find either. Probably because I should clean. Debating all my life's decisions while I have a hot flash doesn't make me love myself.